Hello everybody, this is a new episode of The Covert Sartorialist and we will focus today on the most important issue, pattern control. If you don't control the pattern of your camouflage, you don't control your camouflage. So what's worse? What you see to the left? what you see to the right obviously you don't want to wear this thing to the left which is a great pattern by the way it's multicam cry precision thank you Caleb cry for bringing this to the world it's a great pattern but is it fit for European winter absolutely not and to the right you have a bespoke custom pattern that's way better, way better. Superior performance. And uh, this is just 2D. Now imagine we will add some 3D camouflage to the pattern you see to the right. Uh, let's call it Star Wars pattern because it looks like what the Ewoks wore in, uh, back in the woods fighting the Empire. Let's get a little bit closer. So here we are right on top, um, there's an important principle that beyond 50 meters pattern doesn't matter. I know it's, it's very hard to admit for pattern designers, pattern designers, graphic designers who no matter how great they are, we have uh, very talented people, Caleb Cray, uh, Mr. Dominic Hyde, very talented, very good patterns. But beyond 50 meters, only color matters. And I'm not the only one saying it. This was said by a US Army general after wasting $2 billion for the gray shit ICU ACU pattern, which was a methodological mistake we can talk about another day. But here we want to focus on the first principle of pattern control. First principle, color trumps pattern. And the second principle is much more subtle and very few people know about it. Reflectance trumps color. This means that if we had the same colors here, one with the right reflection and the other one with the wrong reflection, obviously the right one would win. So first, if you want to achieve pattern control, you need to have a good reflectance, not too bright, not too dark. The second thing, a good color. And only at the end of this, this process, you can focus on pattern, which is mostly aesthetics and balance. So now, the pattern you see to the right, the Ewok pattern, is fit for its 3D process, 3D and enhanced. Check this out. So we're back in the field. I can hear some people shooting at the shooting range. I don't know if you can hear it on the recording. Well, anyway. Let's test our prototype concealment vest now with the 3D elements on. Back from the workshop, we added synthetics, green, brown, and some burlap, very delicate burlap. Hmm, getting closer. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, here it is. So, 
just to let you see a 360 degrees rotation the, our usual field test backlight shade contrast you have to test everything it's not bad it's not bad so now what you have to do is uh, take a closer look there's still lots of space because enough enough is as good as a feast you don't need tons of burlap tons of 3d spaghetti style ghillies you just need a few few hundred grams or a few dozen grams maybe so what could we uh, improve here well I think a little bit more green a little bit more green raffia some brown raffia gray raffia maybe would be the next step so we have to order some from uh, Tema HP and uh, that's it let's bag it up This is how it looks like at night. Not bad. Okay, so it could be slightly lighter. Now everything is wet out here. Let's focus on the system. Yeah, that's how it looks like at night. Okay, so maybe more halo screen, more green halo screen, because the spray underneath is a bit dark. Well, it's not bad. Okay, now let's give it a try with the infrared beam. Uh, infrared illumination on. Here we are. So it's a very dark night. There is no moon, uh, no stars. It's been raining, and uh, this is this is how it looks like. From one meter away. Now let's move away. Focus again. Yeah. So this is basically how it performs. Not bad. Not bad.